I'm Liz Brown Swanson and welcome to Around the Peninsula. Today we're at Silver Spur Elementary School in Rancho Palos Verdes where it is Teacher Appreciation Week. And there are so many great teachers here to appreciate, including the woman that started this garden behind me nearly 30 years ago. We're going to meet up with Gail Warner as she takes us down memory lane and introduces us also to the school's green team that's focused on cleaning up the environment. And we have another extraordinary teacher that's going to talk to us in this show. She just received an award for a photo about the environment. So with that, let's take a stroll through this garden. Thank you for being here. I'm in my favorite place. Uh, 1995, well, that's some time ago. Originally, this was just open land. And teaching fourth grade and California history, we learned how to claim land. And so that's what my class did. And uh, everything kind of went from there. And, and they decided that they're a very hungry group of kids and maybe we should put in some vegetables or fruit trees or whatever we could. So we came right out here to this first plot. There's four plots to the Silver Spur Garden. And I must say with the name, it was originally room 19 or the Silver Spur Garden and then it became known as the Healing Garden. So this garden is all about helping people and getting the students involved. Gail has always had a focus on how can we use the garden to help people in need. We've done lots of fundraisers with calendars and selling food from here, but also if we have lost someone, it's also a place, a memorial ground, so we can uh, have a special plant, a rose garden to remember people from the past. One of the special things about Silver Spur is we're such a community school and having Mrs. Warner who is a former teacher here, her grandkids go to school here um, and she's just, she's more than a substitute. She comes on the weekends. Um, she also gets kids excited about the garden um, and helps out. Uh, she goes above and beyond and so we're so lucky to have her. Um, and she's just a special, special part of this community. Here we are, we're in the garden that your mom started but you also worked it. Tell us about that. Absolutely. I have three brothers. We're, I'm a triplet. And then we have an older brother that's two years older. And all of us were in high school when this garden started. So we definitely, labor of love, helped her haul the dirt up here. <laughs> it is very exciting because I literally saw this as a teenager. And now I am a teacher teaching in my old kindergarten classroom here. Very exciting. But I've seen the amount of children come through this garden and how important it is. It's a safe place for them. I love the garden so much. Uh, it's just a uh, quiet place to come and sit, and Miss Warner has really made this place special. Uh, she put so much hard work into it. She's always out here. Thank you, Miss Warner. Hi, I'm Star Knock Dave, and I am the Sustainability Chair for PVP USD Sustainability Committee. And I've got here with me some of our student council and some of our green team. And we're really excited and jazzed because we were recognized by the South Bay City Councils of Governments uh, for a photo contest. In our winning photo, students were down at Malaga Cove and we were collecting waste. But the really cool impact of it is that we can categorize this waste and identify what is typically left down at our coastline. And from that, we can come up with a project. So it really plays into the next generation of science standards, um, hands-on learning. Um, ideas generate projects around that that they can help with our community and make a difference and help ensure that we keep waste out of our coastline. We picked a great time to come. It's Teacher Appreciation Week, so while we celebrate all of our teachers, um, we could not be more thrilled to have Mrs. Nogdave, who is just an absolute pillar for the community and sustainability um, and getting kids excited about it, which I think is the most important thing. Um, she's the leader of our student council and our green team, and she really has done so much, not just for our school, but for the district as a whole, and really from recycling to um, promoting scratch foods in the kitchen. Um, she just really gets everybody excited and on board about it and we're so blessed to have her here. So here's what's really amazing is PVPUSD is participating and adhering to SB 1383. And 1383 ensures that we keep food waste out of our landfills. And that's really important and it's something we're teaching the children here is by keeping the food waste out of our landfills, we cut down on methane gas. So it's the state's major mandate 
in curbing our methane gas emission. And so what's really cool is here at Silver Spur and a couple of our other schools, we are collecting the food lunch waste at the lunch yard. And then we compost the food. We send that off to compost with WM, our waste management service. And we recycle our lunch trays and we recycle our milk cartons. And that has a major impact on our community. So we have some of our green team here who has been helping with that. Green team, would you like to say something about that? Here, I like to um, put my organic waste in the green bin that we have here. And that's how I help the environment. So at home, I help by um, throwing away food scraps in our sink trash so it goes into the land, into the organic waste so we can compost it. I like to recycle all the things that I can. I never realized how much, how much we threw away and put into the landfills until just a few weeks ago when I talked to our wonderful teacher, Ms. Nogdave, and ever since I've tried everything I could to make, to make sure we recycle and do as many things to help the environment as we can. I like using the new green barrel we have for um, organic waste scraps. We used to throw away all our food that we didn't eat, but now we're um, saving the earth by um, putting it in our, in our organic waste. Each week, um, my mom and me and I go to the beach and we pick up as much um, things as we can. You are in the award-winning photo. Tell me about that day in the picture. We collected trash with... Winona, Rex, and Jacob there, and we were dividing them into groups, like, of trash. I love being on the green team because, well, it lets you feel more connected to nature than regular people, so, and it's more pe peaceful here, and if sometimes the green team doesn't know, like, they don't know what kind of tree this is, so then, like, there's always, Miss Warner's always out here, so, like, you can just go up to her and ask her, what kind of tree is this? What, what plant is this? And she'll tell you. Even though she's getting a bit older, she still comes here almost every single day, works on the garden, and does an amazing job keeping sure all the plants, trees, and everything is healthy, and the water is soiled, and everything is going good. Um, I love to smell the mint in the garden, and I also love to look at the plants grow, like, there's an apple tree, and I like to look at the plants grow. I retired in 2008, and I guess you can spell the word retirement, but it's not part of my vocabulary or who I am. I've really never stopped working. I've been at Silver Spur for close to 39 years. There's a third generation that's at Silver Spur now, part of my family. There's so many wonderful stories that I tell the classes. Okay, I'm taking you through a scrapbook I put together, Silver Spur Garden, 1995 through 2008 when I retired. And the most amazing, probably, story of all is the blue famous butterfly of the Palos Verdes Peninsula. A student had done a current event on the blue butterfly. And after school, everybody was gone. I was leaving the classroom. And in my garden flew the blue butterfly. And it was the most amazing experience for me and truly probably the only time I have witnessed one. So it was so special. Garden transitioned from we're just a hungry class to, and this went through all the classes that I had while having the garden. We just transitioned from doing our salad luncheons, offering food to the other classes who were kind of jealous of us, uh, to helping people. And it came to where we seemed to have families, including our teachers, our younger teachers, who had real difficulties. Um, kids who passed away from serious illnesses, car accidents, 9-11 uh, happened, the Iraqi war. Uh, we knew we had to do something to transition from our own pleasure of working the garden to reaching out and helping people. And so with all the names the garden had originally, in the end, it became the healing garden. It's a wonderful place even today for kids to come out during their lunch recess and just sit and do homework or talk, communicate. The whole purpose 
of the garden really, truly originally was to bring kids together. This is the garden that keeps going and growing. And if you want to come have a visit, you can contact Mrs. Warner right here at Silver Spur Elementary School, and she'd be happy to give you a tour. And with that, we're going to wrap it up here on Around the Peninsula. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.